Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got a doubleheader again. Number 21, Southern Utah, 5-0 on the season, hosting the Eastern Washington Eagles, who are 2-3 on the year. In the Discord pick them. Southern Utah has a big edge, 19 votes to 3 for Eastern Washington. They have a pretty good quarterback, though. Brazil, 8 touchdowns, 3 interceptions on the year, 1,100 passing yards. Their running back's pretty decent. Bobby Thompson, true senior, 430 yards, 6 scores on the year, 5.5 yards per carry average, 86 yards per game. So the ground game does get working pretty good sometimes. Brooks leads the team in touchdown receptions with three. And they didn't have anything really amazing on defense as far as individual stats. Uh, here's a look at their schedule. They beat UMass. Then they lost two straight. One in Nevada and then Furman. They beat San Diego, who's having a really rough season so far. And just lost to the Northern Colorado Bears 31-7. to And that was in Eastern Washington. So here's a look at the... Thunderbirds roster, Owen Gregory, he is out for the, today's game. He's injured. Nicholas Hall has solidified himself as the starting quarterback for Southern Utah. Seven touchdowns, no picks on the season. 453 yards rushing and 413 through the air. He also has five touchdowns on the ground. Logan Tyler has been an absolute stud at middle linebacker for this team. And here is Hall. He's going to be dragged down by the face mask. Face mask. <laughs> and you are going to hear me periodically throughout the video coughing because, well, I'm, I'm just dying. So, whatever. It's all good. Hall pitches it out to Foster, the number two halfback. And they move the chains. First down and 10 from the 43. Hall looking to throw it. Nicky Dimes rolling out, but he's sacked back at the 48-yard line of Southern Utah. So that'll bring up third down and long. Third and 16. Hall over the middle of the field. Brandon Lee, the fullback, gets just his second reception this season. And that was a big one. Deep shot to the end zone. Prince McCutcheon, his third touchdown of the year. Oh my goodness, he was wide open. What a throw from Nicholas Hall. Two freshman quarterback slinging it out here. My goodness. They have found themselves a quarterback, folks. Southern Utah on top. 7-0. Thompson breaks the tackle, gets the first down up to the 43-yard line. It's actually at the 42. And there's Thompson again, but he's going to be dropped for a huge loss by Moreland. Making a big play. His third or his second tackle for loss of his career. Riley is going to be sacked. There's holding as well. <coughs> and I just continue to die. It's fine. I'm, I'm okay, guys. Second down and two for the Thunderbirds. Brent Lee up the gut to the 47-yard line. Big gain right there, first down. Hall on the option, left side, pitches it out. Matthews runs the man smooth over and gets to the 36-yard line. This team is unstoppable once they get the ground game working. Here is Lee, and he is going to be dragged down by the face mask, but he fumbles the football, and they are going to get them for the face mask, so the Thunderbirds will retain possession of the football. <laughs> and that is first down and 10 from the 17. Hall, play action. To the middle, in the end zone, Juan Freeman, touchdown, his fourth on the year. My goodness, he only had one touchdown last year, and he has four this season. Unbelievable. Eagles looking for an answer. Riley's going to try to take off. He is dropped by Logan Tyler. And there's the holding call as well. That'll bring up second down and 18. They're moving backwards. Riley is sacked. Adam Joseph, the defensive tackle, coming through. Gets his third sack of the season ninth for his career. Now Riley has a long way to go. He takes off. He is dropped at the 29-yard line. And the Eagles pump the football away. Thunderbirds looking to take a commanding three-score lead. Here is Hall in the open field. Runs out of bounds. Maybe a late hit there on the quarterback. But a 20-plus yard run nonetheless for the freshman. Brandon Lee up the gut. Look out, folks. Does he have the speed inside the 10 and down to the six yard line? Another big time run by this fullback. He's been doing it for his entire career so far and they're gonna give it to him again as he breaks the couple of tackles there and fights forward for the touchdown. That's his ninth touchdown run this year. 22nd of his career. He's an absolute monster. He's over 800 yards rushing on the season. Bobby Thompson in the open field breaks the tackle. Bryce King drops him at the 40. Thompson with 31 yards today. Riley, pressured. He's going to fumble the football. And it is recovered by Eastern Washington. 
but that is a strip sack. They're down and one now for the Thunderbirds after the Eagles punt the football away. Hall pitches it to Matthews and out of bounds at the 48-yard line. And I'm still coughing and choking to death. It's okay. Oh, deep shot right side, and that is a completed pass to Prince McCutcheon. Oh, my goodness. Look at his foot. He just barely drags that with possession. What a throw and catch right there. Off the throw again. Pump fakes. Deep shot to the end zone. Prince McCutcheon again. His second today. He has four touchdown receptions on the season. That ties his record for, from last year. And Emmanuel Wise should have had an interception there. Bobby Thompson makes a huge catch, though. Third first down of the ball game for the Eagles. Thunderbirds at 12. Riley, right side, caught by Jackson. Logan Tyler can't bring him down. He's still going. And then Tyler finally drags him down at the 32-yard line. Eagles threatening here. They go with option. And Thompson runs a couple guys over. And they'll pick up five yards. Tack on five more for the illegal face mask. Logan Tyler is on fire right now. Watch out for him. Thompson in the open field. Bryce King lays him out. His fourth tackle today. That gives King 28 for the season. And Riley is crushed. Adam Joseph, his second sack of the ball game. He now has 10 for his career. Not bad for defensive tackle. And there's the thumbnail, folks. Quarterback on his back. Riley, high snap, looking to throw it off his back foot. Finds his man. It's Evans. He does not get the first down. And it's now third down and three. Huge play here. And Thompson picks it up inside the 10. 30 seconds left in the half. And Thompson is going to be dropped by Logan Tyler. His fourth tackle today. <coughs> that gives him 56 on the season. Riley to throw. And that should have been picked off by Logan Tyler. But he just got back to Riley looking to throw it again off his back foot. And an incomplete. Off the receiver's hands, the Eagles are going to have to settle for a field goal here. Pick us up and good. It is now 28 to 3 after a 70 play or a 70 yard drive on 12 plays. Back deep to return. Hagan, freshman cornerback, up the left sideline. Touch back. That's the 40. Hagan might go. Hagan will go. Touchdown, Thunderbirds. Oh my goodness. 98 yard touchdown return. As time expires here in the first half, Thunderbirds rolling at home here in Cedar City, Utah. Eagles do get the ball to start the third quarter, though. Griffin breaks a tackle. Nice play from him. Sherman brings him down inside the 40-yard line. Now second and seven. Bobby Thompson gets the carry in the open field. Bryce King, another tackle and another face mask penalty here today. Seen quite a few of those on both sides. First and 10 from the 12-yard line. Bazile crushed by Logan Tyler. And then Tyler comes through and tackles Thompson. Two tackles on one play. He is unbelievable. Brazil rolling left side. Dropped. C.J. Morland doubles his tackles for a loss in his career in just this game. Another field goal attempt here for the Eagles. Kick is up and good. <coughs> and I'm, I'm still dying. It's fine. 35 to 6 is the score. Hagen on the return. He has one touchdown here today. And he's going to cut this over the middle. He's almost a football, though. And it's bouncing around, recovered by McKnight. And he breaks the tackle and scores. A scoop and score for the Eagles on the kickoff. Oh, my goodness. Might be some momentum that the Eagles need here. But Nicholas Hall, look at the speed from the youngster. Spins a man out of his shoes and in for the touchdown. His sixth touchdown run of the year. Nicky Dimes <laughs> put people on skates out here. It's 42-13. Brazil, deep shot right side. Bryce King is there, and he can't make the play. Nice play by Byers. Huge pickup. It's now fourth and sixth, though, for the Eagles. On the 32-yard line of Southern Utah. Brazil, left side, caught. CJ Moreland hasn't allowed a touchdown here today, but allowed a big fourth down conversion there. Brazil, sacked again. This time, it's Jericho Stevens, his second today. That gives him five on the year. Brazil, the throw. Pressure, throws left side, caught by Byers inside the 15-yard line. He was short of the first down. They kick another field goal here. That'll make it 42-16. And we are now in the fourth quarter. Second down at two. Brandon Lee up the gut. 
Dukes the man out inside Eagle territory. He's got 84 yards today, closing in on 900 for the season. Hand it off to Matthews here up the middle. Nice juke move and picks up nine yards for himself. 256 yards on the ground today for the Thunderbirds. Second out of one. Play action. Hall rolling out left side. And there's a lot of green in front of him. Hall inside the 20 dives to avoid the contact. First down inside the red zone. Nice play by the freshman quarterback. And he's looking to throw it here. Rolling around. And he's going to take off again. Hall, Dukes, spins down to the five-yard line. He is so electric. Averaging 11.5 yards per carry today. First and goal for the five. Cameron Matthews, left side. Walks in. Touchdown, Thunderbirds. And they are just rolling on through the Eagles here today. Impact that play. Cameron Matthews, eight touchdown runs on the season now. And Brazil is picked off by Logan Tyler. Oh my goodness, he can do it all. Two picks on the season now. Unbelievable talent. And he is shooting up the EFL draft prospect board right now. And here is Hall again. Nice option play inside the 15-yard line. 260 total yards for him. Four touchdowns today. Outstanding performance from the freshman quarterback. Here is Matthews running some guys over down the five-yard line. The running backs on this team are just too powerful. And Matthews might be called there for a penalty. No, he's not. Second goal from the one. Brandon Lee punches it in again. My goodness. The Thunderbirds pull off the 50-burger here in Cedar City. 56 to 16. A 40-point victory here for the number 21. Southern Utah Thunderbirds. They're now 6 and all in the season. The Discord pick'em was correct. Southern Utah rolled through the Eagles here today. And Eastern Washington drops to 2 and 4 on the season. What a performance from Nicholas Hall. Four total touchdowns for him. And that is going to give him 16 total touchdowns on the season. Over 1,000 total yards. And just one uh, one fumble on the year. I do believe the Thunderbirds recovered that as well. So he does not have any turnovers on the season. I could be mistaken on that. But I'm pretty sure the offense recovered his fumble. 635 yards total today for Southern Utah. They put up 35 points in the first half. The game was pretty much over then. Eastern Washington <laughs> did put up 13 in the third, and I'm still choking to death, guys. Please, someone send help. Hall, 5 of 6, 113 yards, 3 touchdowns. He was sacked one time, a long of 29, 83% today. He had 151 yards on the ground with a touchdown. Brandon Lee, 2 touchdowns today. That gives him 10 on the season. And Cameron Matthews also had a touchdown. Lee had a fumble. That's his second fumble this season. But that was recovered um, by the offense, I believe. Two touchdowns for Prince McCutcheon. One for Freeman. Freeman just seven catches on the season with four touchdowns. And McCutcheon um, has four touchdowns this year. He had four last year. So definitely going to break his records from last season. Logan Tyler, 10 tackles today. Gives him 62 on the season. I mean, he he's just an absolute um, beast, a monster. A meast, if you will. And look for him to get well over 100 tackles this season. He had one for a loss as well. That gives him five tackles for a loss on the season. He does not, however, have any sacks on the year. So we're going to have to work on that. He has five forced fumbles. Two fumbles recovered on the season. I mean, he's just destroying every, everybody. <coughs> oh, my goodness. I'm not going to edit out any of this coughing because, you know what? I, I just don't care. Paul McCutcheon lead players of the game for Southern Utah. McKnight, Anthony, and Sampson for Eastern Washington. Our next football game for the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. They will be traveling to take on another subscriber team, the San Diego Terreros, in week number nine. Our second game of our doubleheader today will be NC and State traveling to take on the fifth-ranked 5-1 Bryant Bulldogs. I will see you guys at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with that one. Until then, take these guys.